Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel Health Notes and MCQS. Today, we are going to discuss on epidemiology of polio. Before discussing on the causes, mode of transmission, symptoms, complication, prevention, treatment entering to the core topic, let me ask you a few questions regarding polio. Question 1. What is the proportion of irreversible paralysis among polio cases? Option 1 is 1 in 100 infections. Option 2 is 1 in 200 infections. Option 3 is 1 in 500 infections. Option 4 is 1 in 1,000 infections. Please think about it and write your answer down in your study sheet. Question 2. Infected person spread the virus to other immediately. Option 1 before. And up to 4 weeks after symptoms appears. Option 2 before. And up to six weeks after symptoms appears, option three before, and up to two weeks after symptoms appears, option four, none of the above, please write your answer in your study sheet. Question three, what is the specific treatment for paralytic polio? Option one, antiviral treatment, option two, surgery, option three, vaccination, option four, no specific treatment available. Now probably you're with the right answers of all three questions. If not, then no need to worry. We are here with detailed notes on polio. At the end of video, you'll probably be clear about it and we'll provide you with the right answer. Now, let's start it from its introduction. Poliomyelitis is a highly infectious viral disease caused by poliovirus from Piconaviridae family. There are basically three strains of poliovirus I. E. Wild poliovirus type 1. Wild poliovirus type 2 and wild poliovirus type 3 This poliovirus lives in the throat and intestine of the infected person and attacks the nervous system including spinal cord. Although it can affect the person of any age group, this infection is most common among children under 5 years of age. Now we'll discuss about its mode of transmission. Polio is very contagious an infected person can spread before and up to 2 weeks after symptoms to healthy individuals. The most common mode of transmission of polio is through fecal-oral route. However, less commonly it can be transmitted from droplets released during sneeze cough of an infected person. We are going to discuss about symptoms of polio. Generally, most of the infected people don't have any visible symptoms. Here, just 25% of infected one develop flu-like symptoms such as sore throat, fever, tiredness, nausea, headache, etc. These symptoms usually last from 2 to 5 days. However, small portion of infected people will develop serious symptoms. There are major two serious symptoms that is meningitis and paralysis, in which paralysis is the most severe symptoms leading to disability. And death meningitis occurs in about 1 5 out of 100 infected cases, while paralysis is experienced in about 1 out of 200 cases. We have been creating audiovisual keynotes for you since few years. If you like our efforts of doing so, then please hit the like button and share it with your fry. To watch such more content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel Health Notes and MCQS. Now let's get back to the topic. We'll discuss about diagnosis of poliomyelitis. It can be diagnosed through stool test, throat sample test, and cerebrospinal fluid test. Here, mostly stool sample test is used. Throat sample test is less reliable as virus is found in throat in just first week of illness. Polio is the preventable disease. It can be prevented by maintaining good hand hygiene, effective surveillance system, and immunization. Basically, two types of vaccines are used. First one is IPV inactivated poliovirus vaccine. This vaccine is infective either in leg or arm and is also known as South vaccine. This vaccine is considered to be highly effective for polio prevention. Generally, two doses provides 90% protection against polio, whereas three doses provides 99% protection against polio. Next vaccine is oral poliovirus vaccine, WHC is also known as Sabin vaccine. Now let's talk about the treatment option available for the polio. There is no any specific treatment for polio. However, there are few supportive treatment options such as pain relievers, bed rest, and physical therapy exercises. We hope now you all are clear regarding the epidemiology of polio. Here are the few key facts about the polio. As polio is well known for causing paralysis, it is also known as paralytic disease. Alcohol-based hand sanitizers do not kill poliovirus. Let's talk about status of eradication of polio. 
In 1988 AD, World Health Organization launched Global Polio Eradication Initiative. In 1999 AD, wild poliovirus type 2 was eradicated, and in 2020 AD, wild poliovirus type 3 was eradicated in 2020 AD. However, remaining one wild poliovirus type 1 is still prevalent in two countries, Pakistan and Afghanistan. Throughout this video, we have already discussed about the previously asked MCQS. We hope that you are able to answer them well. Here are the answers keys. Check it out with your previous answer. For more such multiple choice questions, MCQS on polio, we have created a separate video. The link is available in the description box below. Thanks for watching. We are at infancy stage of creating audiovisual notes. Please leave your feedback in the comment section below as it will motivate and guide us for any changes if necessary. If you want audiovisual notes on any specific health topics, then you can leave the comment below or either email us at Easy Health Notes Mail. Come keep learning. Consistency is key to success for any competitive health exams. Take care of your health.